Hello and welcome to Rainbow Stars channel and today I'm giving you guys an update on my pregnancy. As you can see back there we got all of the sonogram pictures from beginning to the end so there are so many pictures. Uh, that's only because I've been going to see the doctor um, time and time again for the coleostasis stuff and monitoring and just making sure he's okay so we got that going on um i'm currently 35 weeks pregnant and luckily i got it this far <laughs> uh it's fantastic uh baby boy is now seven pounds and 11 ounces which is insane he's actually uh <laughs> he's actually heavier than he should be <laughs> so um, he might come early and surprise everybody, or he might stay in there until October 1st. October 1st is going to be my induction date, so that's exciting. Um, I'm just excited that we're coming to a close with the pregnancy and that he's going to be okay and come out be fine, because uh, I have been nonstop worrying about everything. <laughs> so uh, that's going to be exciting. I gotta do some spring cleaning obviously still and <laughs> get stuff situated in here to get his bassinet on this side of my bed uh, move this drawer out somewhere uh, just find space so that I can have baby boy right beside me and uh, breastfeed throughout the night and uh, do what moms are supposed to do so yeah it's pretty exciting a little bit nerve wracking too um, I'm very tired <laughs> I've been having a lot of round ligament pain. It's uh, Round ligaments are the ligaments that hold the uterus in place. So it's like on one side of the uterus and on the other side of the uterus. Uh, the one that hurts me is the left side more than anything else. And uh, likely it's because he's so heavy and he's just putting a lot of pressure on that ligament. Uh, and with my EDS, Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, it is possible that he could be doing damage to that ligament which could explain how bad the pain is. Or it could just be completely normal uh, amounts of pain um, because this other lady said she had it real bad when she was pregnant and she was brought down to her knees and she has no other pre-existing condition. So it could either be that one, I'm actually getting hurt by him or two, that it's nothing to worry about and that it'll go away as soon as I give birth. So uh, I have been contracting for the past few weeks um, I have more contractions toward nighttime than daytime. Um, they get to the point where they're so painful I can't walk. Uh, I'm still getting hot flashes, so my face is turning bright red, and I'm hot all the time. I can't get cool. That's all normal. <laughs> so for anyone who makes it this far in a pregnancy, I guess this is all to be expected. Uh, since it's my first pregnancy, it's my first time going through any of this. So. <laughs> It's not easy, smooth sailing, or, you know, I don't know what's normal, what's not, what sensations are okay, what sensations are not. It's all a learning curve here. So I'm on this ride, <laughs> and there's no way off. So other than the conclusion, which is birth. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see how it all goes. Uh, little man is looking adorable. I can't wait to tell, like, whose nose he has. You know, part of me doesn't want him to have my nose. Because my nose is huge. Let's get real. It takes up like most of my face. It's gigantic. I don't like my own nose. <laughs> so it's a little bit bulbous. <laughs> but it's good for breathing. So I mean, <laughs> a big nose is not a terrible thing. It's just, you know, um, it'll be interesting. <laughs> it'll be interesting to see how he looks. Uh, if he looks more like me or his father. Um, I personally believe he has my head shape. Uh, that he has my forehead. That he has my eyes. He might have his father's nose, but he definitely has my lips. And I don't know about his ears. He might have his father's ears, but I have no idea. So <laughs> let's just wait until he comes out and then I'll look at the features and determine if he's more like me or his dad or vice versa. I did reach out to his biological father. I don't know why. <laughs> I mean, what possessed me to do that? I guess either hormones or maybe the idea that he might be excited to know how his offspring is doing or when the due date is or have an update on a sonogram picture or whatever. I didn't know if he wanted pictures or not either. He never made any of this clear. 
to me what he wants. So <laughs> because he's not making it clear what he wants, I don't know what to do about it. <laughs> so uh, for me, I always give people chances. So I gave him a chance uh, way back when, and then I gave him another chance which was recent. I reached out to him. I let him know what was happening, uh, that he'd be an early baby. Uh, I asked him if he wanted pictures. He said, sure, you can send the pictures, but he said it in a way that it sounded like he really didn't want them. So like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to, I don't want him to think I'm harassing him is the thing. If he really wants nothing to do with this kid, he just needs to come out and say so is how I feel because if that's how he feels then I'm not gonna force him but at the same time what if he might want some kind of contact with him what if he might want to see him or at least have a picture of him I don't know he's never made it clear what he wants so <laughs> I reached out to him to kind of clear the water a little bit and he made it seem like it, it was real awkward the conversation was very awkward it felt forced he was highly uncomfortable with me contacting him. I could just sense that even though he said we're cool and that, you know, we could still be buddies or still talk or whatever, he said he doesn't want to give me any false hope. Now, I don't know where he's coming across with that. I don't know what he means. Like, I don't want a relationship with him. I, <laughs> we made that perfectly clear that we both don't want... <laughs> A relationship and he doesn't want a co-parent at least I know that much um, he doesn't want to pay child support I know that much <laughs> but other than that I just don't know if he wants to be on a talking basis or if he wants me to leave him alone completely or what his deal is it's not that I have any hopes for anything <laughs> I just wanted to know hey do you want pictures of your kid or not <laughs> do you want to ever see him or would you rather have like a break completely because I'll give you whatever you want I just don't know what you want so uh, but yeah I reached out I tried to give him a chance um, to clear the water with him a little bit but it was very awkward kind of weird and strange and from what I gather because of where he is in his life he really doesn't know what he wants and so that is what it is he said I could send the picture so I might send him one photograph uh, out of the kindness of my soul <laughs> so he at least knows what his kid looked like at birth um, but I might not I don't know <laughs> so I don't know I don't know what he wants so maybe I should wait until he reaches out to me for pictures or whatever like maybe that will be what he'll do like later on come over and be like yo can I see him can I see pictures or whatever um, but I just don't want this to be a thing where I open a door and then he shuts it and then he tries to come back later in life when kiddo is like 10 and wants to meet him then because at that point no because <laughs> uh, you can't come and go out of a kid's life so like if you come later in life and then you leave again it devastates a child so part of me just thinks that not sending any photos and no longer contacting or having any contact is the way to go because I can't force him to do anything <laughs> and I don't want him to think I'm an evil person who wants something from him so I don't know I, I guess it's just the girls he's used to dealing with um, want things from him I but I really don't all I wanted to know is do you want pictures yes no maybe <laughs> do you ever want to see him if so let me know <laughs> But I'd rather him see him early on and then Elion not remembering him than to have him come later in life where the kid will be subjected to, this is your father, he's your birth father, but he doesn't want to be your dad. <laughs> like, no, <laughs> you can't do that to a boy. So, so I don't know. Um, I don't know how I'm going to deal with this. And later in life, I don't know how I'm going to deal with the whole subject. Like, he's going to ask, hey, mama, how was I born? Or, like, where's my dad? Or these questions. And I'm going to have to make it, like, the most positive thing in the world <laughs> to try and explain it in a way that doesn't sound terrible. <laughs> so I'm going to have to really dig deep and find out what I'm going to tell him later down the road. Um, 
And same debate with like Santa Claus and stuff. Like I'm, I'm already thinking about stuff like, what happens if you ask me about Santa Claus? Do I tell him the mythical story about this magical person who comes into your house and leaves gifts and the wonder and the magic is there? Or do I go the more practical approach and do it more like the gift of giving, uh, tell him about the St. Nicholas, the guy who started the trend, um, you know, he was a woodcarver, blah, 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 right? Like, I don't know if I should go factual or mythical <laughs> with him because I don't want him to feel like I'm lying to him ever. <laughs> like, so I'm sitting there thinking, um, but the magic would be there and he'd be so excited on Christmas and he'd be making his list to Santa and it would be like an amazing experience for him. But at the same time, it's like, then would he think I'm a liar? And <laughs> would he ever trust me again? Same thing with the tooth fairy and the Easter bunny. What do I tell him? <laughs> so I don't know how I'm going to go about this. Like this whole thing is new to me. Um, like I already raised one kid, but I didn't raise him long enough to have these problems pop up. So like I didn't raise Devin to the point where she would have these kind of questions and to where I'd have to answer them um, because of the what transpired and how everything went. Uh, but with him, I'm going to have him for life. So I need to know <laughs> how to go about it. But from what I understand, there's no right or wrong way to do this. So I'll have to make up my mind and go with the flow and just kind of hope that he has a good childhood. I just want him to have a good childhood. That's all. So there's that. <laughs> um, and uh, I don't know what possessed me to contact that man. I just assumed he might care about my health or kiddo. Like we were friends, very close friends. I don't, I don't know. Um, but you, you know, you can't ever predict stuff like this happening. Uh, you know, like condoms breaking, accidental pregnancies. Uh, just, I guess it spooked him. <laughs> um, I don't know if he'll ever come around again or if he'll ever call or reach out to me as a friend. Boy, it kind of hurts my feelings a little bit that, yeah, I was his close friend. At one point, I might have even had some feelings for him. And then this happens and bam, he's gone. So, um, I don't know. I, I don't know if he hates me or what it is, or if he's just busy or I'm just going to let him do him and me do me. So I'm pretty sure I'm not ever going to reach out to him again. He, I've already lost his number. So if he wants to reach out to me, he knows where I am. I'm not moving anytime soon. So, um, but yeah, so I'm just excited to get to see baby boy and get to hold him and love on him and be the mom that I'm meant to be. So that's uh, very exciting that he's going to get here soon. I have a pregnancy shoot that I'm doing um, on a Sunday. Uh, I see the pediatrician again on a Friday. I go every Tuesdays and Fridays. I do blood work uh, continually um, and just try to... Uh, figure out how everything's going. My liver enzymes are still high. They've been high. They're going to be high. Um, but they're actually a little bit lower than they were. So the treatment is working. And that's good to know. <laughs> that the treatment is buying me time so that I can have my baby and I'm no longer itching as bad. So my liver's actually functioning better. <laughs> Yay team. Um, but they still want to deliver him early because I, I do have that diagnosis and the medicine can only buy you so much time before the liver decides to freak out all over again. So <laughs> October 1st is the induction date. If he comes earlier, they're not going to stop the birth. They're just going to go with the flow. Um, I don't suspect that I'll go into early labor only because I'm bed resting most of the time because of the uh, pain in my uterus <laughs> and the cramping. So <laughs> I'm just trying to take it easy. Um, just trying to make it to 37 weeks. I would love him to be term. If he's term, I'll feel a lot better <laughs> than if he's early, even by a week. So <laughs> a week or so. So, but yeah. And plus then we'd share, we'd share, a, uh, we'd share a month for birthdays because, uh, my birthday's October 15th and his would be the October 1st. So that'd be cool. <laughs> so, um, but yeah. So I can't wait to meet him then. Seven pounds. He's huge. <laughs> no wonder I'm hurting. 
but yeah, we're just going to have to play it by ear. And I'm actually the fattest I've ever been. <laughs> I am 300 and I think it was, yeah, 318. <laughs> so, but from what I understand, I'm going to lose a lot of weight when baby comes out. So I'm not too obsessed with my weight at this point. I'll be more obsessed after the fact. Like I'll go on a nice diet and I will go back to Weight Watchers and I'll lose all the baby weight. No big deal. If I can lose 50 pounds once, I can do it again. I'm not concerned about it anymore. I'm tired of thinking about it. I'm like, no, you know what? Don't even think about it. Just if you're gaining weight, it's what it is after birth. It'll be what it'll be. And you can just work on yourself and get better. So anyway, I think this has been a long enough update. Uh, plans are to move the bassinet, get everything ready, um, and hopefully he'll be here uh, within the next few weeks. So exciting! And uh, I can't wait to show him off to the whole world and let people see his cute little face. And um, can't I just? I'm I'm so excited to get to hold him for the first time and. Um, just looking forward to it just trying to stay positive so but yeah everything's going pretty good and i'm pretty excited so uh wish me luck and remember when you view peace love unity and respect and um oh today on the sonogram they even caught him breathing and they also caught him drinking which is so cool <laughs> i was like that is such a weird concept isn't it being in the womb able to drink your own urine because it's been filtered by the <laughs> it's all sterile <laughs> i don't know how it all works but it's some sci-fi stuff for me so <laughs> um but yeah he's like a little mini astronaut in there zero g floating around and goo able to drink it and breathe it <laughs> no big deal uh it's crazy to me <laughs> but anyway yeah so remember when you view peace love unity and respect and remember to leave a comment uh or a like or just whatever and i'll see you guys on the flip side all right wish me luck uh, it's just a few more weeks now bye